Hey YouTube, Scarpad here from Scarpad's Comic Treks, bringing you yet another Mego unboxing. This is Wave 12, no, Wave 11, Wave 12 is coming, uh, I think, next month. Wave 11, and once again, I got all these Mego, Mego figures from Absolute Retro, which is Frank Roger Hoyt, so Frank Rojo, as he's known on uh, Facebook, it says company. If you go on Facebook, look up Absolute Retro or just Google, uh, Google that. Uh, he always sends the um, figures to me, you know, like a day after he gets them. They're packed, fantastic. He has great prices for shipping and for product. Uh, I stand by Frank. He's a great guy to deal with if you're looking for Mego. So I did get my Mego stuff today. Once again, packed pretty nice. Of course, he puts fragile stickers all over it and then the Postal Service kind of Priority two day mail, but you yeah, had double boxed, so no problem with that. What you'll always get actually, these aren't double boxed, but they're in good condition. So let's see what we got. This is we Amigo Wave 11. Now, I think it was a cancellation. I think Captain Pike from Star Trek Discovery, we, you know, you guys all know I love Star Trek Discovery, but Captain Pike is one of the best characters on that show. Uh, one of the worst is staring at me in the, in the face. <laughs> I must be a completist if I got it. Uh, but Captain Pike's been delayed to, to wave 12 now. So we won't be seeing Captain Pike in this wave. He'll be with the next wave. Unfortunately, what we will be seeing is probably one of the worst characters Star Trek has ever had. And, and that's Michael Burnham. Just because she's written so badly. I mean, she is written to be the star of the show. And she's a mutineer. She never follows orders. She hasn't earned the place she has in Starfleet. And she she rises to uh, the level of captain in the latest season. And she's always crying. And it's, oh, I hate cat. I hate. I'm a completist, so I picked it up. And the figure, I don't know how good it is. But let's see what we got here. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, actually, this is kind of cool. He, he packed some extra cards in here as packing. So these must be his cards that uh, he got off some figures. So that's kind of cool. Got some extra cards for display. Always cool. And then, okay, so we got some, we got a couple shrink wrap items, and then we got a double box here. So let's see what we got in the shrink wrap first. out of here real quick. Always great to see some Mego product uh, come out. Now, Mego started really kicking. They're really timing these waves uh, pretty fast. Um, so wave 12 will be out and then I think we're going to get wave 13. They announced a bunch of stuff, Play the Ape stuff and all sorts of interesting things. Let's see what we have first up here. Uh, actually this is I think Bobby is going to be one of my favorite figures in Wave tw in Wave 11. Um, I was impressed when I saw this. And that's Teen Wolf. And look at the level of detail on this. This is fantastic. This is Michael J. Fox's Teen Wolf. And there he is. I love the jacket he's got on and the sneakers down there. And the tweed pants, which I think... I don't know if it's a Klingon pants. They just look like tweed plant pants. Oh, my God. That's a great figure. Teen Wolf. Great. 80s. I think it was 80s. 85, I think that came out. That's in their horror line. And there's the back of the cover there. What is Meagle Monsters. New logo up there. In the top. World's greatest Meagle Monsters. Oops. Now he's broken. <laughs> So what, what does it say here? Uh, consultant was Dr. Migo, sculptors Andy Covert, Covalt, and uh, Rachel Baker. And that great outfit that he's wearing, Teen Wolf. That's so far, I think that's my favorite of the line that I've seen. And then we got, uh, they released uh, Hannibal Lecter last wave in the face mask and, and they released them again you know doubling up as a variant in the straitjacket so there's Hannibal Lecter 
in the straight jacket there you can see not a bad likeness of uh, Anthony Perkins it's okay and there's the back of it and we have consultant Dr. Migo sculptors Alex Ramirez this time and seamstress Brian seamstress is that it's Brian is he still a seam, seamstress maybe Brian Leitner Silence of Lambs. Ham Lecter in the straight jacket. Now, now we have a bunch of these terrible packing bubbles. I hate these things. Uh, they go all over the place. Uh, so let's see what we got here. Alright, so. More of these things. Klingons, Klingons, Klingons everywhere. A box. As I said, these are packed fairly well. Fairly well. Okay, there's Frank's card. Absolute Retro. Frank Wojo. Right, this first one I got uh, actually early. This was supposed to be Wave 11, and then Walmart got them in, and I ordered one from Walmart. So this figure is actually going to be going to my good buddy Dylan who uh, loves this movie and that's Jeepers Creepers so I showed him off last time wave 10 and uh, Dylan this will be coming your way sometime soon and who do we have up next next the Candyman can yes the Candyman uh, that's a great look at that figure, Tori Todd. That's a great likeness. I like the the outfit's good, dead on. Hope he doesn't have a broken, twisted leg. They always seem to come that way. That's a great uh, figure in the. I may be keeping these in the package. I don't know if I'm going to take these out or not. They're running out of room, so these may get put up on the walls. We'll see. And there's the back of it, Tony Todd. Farewell to the flesh. And who do who do we have to thank for this figure? Uh, Jason Young freelancing. Sculptors son Sansom and seamstress, of course, Rachel Baker. Does a lot of this stuff. The candy man. Oh yeah, well we had to come up eventually. Oh god. I never could like this. I, Unfortunately, not even a good likeness. Maybe that is fortunate. I don't know. This is, well, it's, I guess it's okay. She doesn't look great in this haircut. It looks like she's wearing a triple on top of her head. Michael Burnham from Star Trek Discovery. Oh, she's got like a triple on the top of her head there. And, and her head's a little too big for the body, I think, in this one. So maybe she's roid raging on top of everything else that she's done to disgrace herself with Starfleet. <laughs> Michael Burnham. I got the, I got the uh, Captain Sanu here. So, Saru Sanu. Uh, they actually gave her kind of an old style phaser and communicator, so they didn't they didn't re pop, and she's wearing the jack boots down there. <laughs> Michael Burnham. Oh. Okay, next up. The Bride of Frankenstein. The Bride. She's got a head turn. She's turning cough. I don't know where they head turn these. I guess they fit them in a box. But too bad they couldn't keep it kind of staring at you. But there's the Bride of Frankenstein. This will be nice up against my Frankenstein figs. The Bride. I'm glad to see they're getting back to some more Universal Monsters here. 
Dr. Migos on consultant, Sean Sansom's on the sculptor, and uh, Rachel Baker, seamstress. And the back, it's pretty neat. There's the back cover. The Bride of Frankenstein. The Bride! And down to the nitty and the gritty. All right. A Frankenstein yet again. So yet this is another Frankenstein, but I think this is officially licensed. So this is the Boris Karloff Frankenstein. The other ones weren't, I feel, officially licensed. And this one has a head sculpt that is a little different. It looks like Boris Karloff. So this one I believe is licensed by his estate and the other ones were not. And I think this is the Ghost of Frankenstein version. I'm not sure, because I think in Ghost, he had that furry cover, and they, they haven't come out with that one yet. So he's wearing basically a little bit variant on, the, on what he had, uh, but the head sculptor is different. And on this one, it's Dr. Migo consultant, sculptor, Sean Sansom, and Rachel, Rachel Baker. So it's a little different. They have a lot of Frankensteins in the lineup, but I've, I've gotten them pretty much all. And uh, this is the the official head sculpt there. Here's the back of it. And once again, as I said, looking at the difference, the, uh, the head sculpt on this one, I should have grabbed the other one to show, but the, the head sculpt on this is a lot nicer. Very nice. And finally, Ultra 7. So last time, last wave 10, they came out with Ultraman. And I'm not really bigger. I mean, I, I watched Ultraman as a kid because he was always balancing, uh, battling uh, uh, monsters, kaiju in, uh, in uh, Godzilla costumes, basically. <clears throat> but, uh, well, but they have a ton of the very different variant shows over in Japan. So Ultra 7 is one of the variants on Ultraman. I, I didn't really watch it. But I thought it was a cool figure. It's a little different than the Ultraman figure. It's got the point in your head and... Almost looks like Jet Jaguar from uh, from uh, Godzilla vs. Megalon, that great classic Godzilla movie. They should do a Jet Jaguar figure. They, they really need to do that, whether they can get the rights to it or not, I don't know. But this was done freelance by Jason Young, sculptors Andy Kovalt, and seamstress Rob Leach. Are you a seamstress? If, uh, I have to ask my mom because she was a, a seamstress. Are you a seamstress if you're a guy? I don't know. So, there you go. That's Ultra 7, that's the back of it. It's been good packaging this time around, I really like it. So, some of these may be staying in a box, just because I'm running out of room to display them, sad but true. Um, so that's Wave 11. As I said, the only thing that was canceled out of that was Captain Pike. Uh, he's due now into 12. 12 has Captain Pike. Uh, let's see if I can pull up. I'm not sure exactly what's in Wave 12. So let me let me type in Mego Wave 12. And let me at least see what I can see here. Uh, looks like in Wave 12, and I can't really share the screen right now. Wave 12, we're getting uh, a couple Planet of the Apes figures. We're getting Cornelius, Dr. Zaius. We're getting, finally, uh, Scotty and McCoy to round out the original Star Trek crew. We're getting the Rocketeer, and a great, a great figure, Rocketeer. We're getting Apollo Creed from Rocky. We're getting another Stan Lee, which I passed on. This time he's got the spider web hands. I passed on that. Uh, and I think we're getting a flocked fly. Try to say that 12 times straight. A flocked fr fly that will have the, the hair on the head and the hands. Uh, and I think that's it for Wave 12. <clears throat> but they finally started going back. And back in the 70s, the Play of the Apes figures, in addition to Star Trek, were the two biggest selling lines. And also the, the DC figures. 
Um, I thought we were getting... I think we're getting a couple DC figures, too. I think we're getting a um, Riddler and a Green Lantern. Yeah. So I think we're getting a, a Riddler and a Green Lantern. I also think uh, Igor has been announced for Wave 12, possibly. Igor from Young Frankenstein, which will be a great... Um, okay, but we're getting Green Lantern, The Flash... And um, Green Lantern, The Flash, and The Riddler, I believe, is coming soon. And the Green Lantern figure will be the John Stewart variant of him. So, some interesting stuff coming from Mego. I mean, Mego's starting to really kick it up a notch. A good mix, uh, I feel, of horror, uh, you know, horror stuff, um, sci-fi stuff vintage movies um and they're positioning themselves pretty well i think so i'll be interested to see what's coming up beyond these next few waves uh coming out i wanted to show you the first my first uh unboxing of these today hope you've enjoyed it if there's anything else you'd like to see on this channel uh put it in the comments below put your comments do you like like Migo? i know a lot of you guys collect decca figures i know dylan who will be getting this jeepers creepers you know, he doesn't want me to get started on Mego stuff because that's all he needs. He does pops already and, and NECA figures, and now he's going to be on Migos or, and Blu-rays. Oh, my God, he's going to have to get a third job. <laughs> all right, guys, <clears throat> thanks for watching. I hope you have a good afternoon. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll catch you along down the line. Later, everybody.